Hey guys, sorry I haven't made a uh, video in a while. Um, just been really, really busy working on a site this morning and I wanted to edit a block. And it's a reusable block or what they're calling patterns now. Um, don't have my camera with me, so I'm using my iPhone. Office is a mess. Um, camera's at the office and I didn't feel like going to get it. So I want to show you guys, there's not a link to edit blocks unless you go into a page or a post that you're editing that has a block on it and then you can manage reusable blocks. But even in the new WordPress when they've done patterns, sometimes you can't even find that link because there's not, unless it's synced or something, it doesn't give you that link. So I want to show you guys how to create a link to the to edit blocks or patterns um, in WordPress. So I'll show you the screen and I'll get back to you at the end of the video. Thanks. Okay, so here on the, um, I'm on the ideapro.com website, just on functions.php in the theme. And I went down a good ways just to get away from some of the other stuff that I have uh, in the functions file. Now, you can put this in a um, theme in the functions.php file in your theme, or you can put it into a uh, unique plugin. If I need to do a video where you put it in a unique plugin or something, I can. I've done plenty of those videos uh, on plugins. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a function and we're gonna call it, um, I'm just gonna call it unique link block editor. Editor, there we go. All right, so now what we want to do is we want to bring in the global submenu because we're going to put this into the settings menu um, of the site. So we're going to say dollar sign submenu and then we're going to use the options general .php. And what that is, is that's basically your main settings uh, uh, menu in WordPress admin. All right. And so then this is going to be an array. We'll close that out there. All right. So then the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to, the first argument is going to be what the link says. And we're going to call it, whoops. Wow. I'm not even typing good this morning. Block editor. And that needs to be a comma. And then the next argument is going to be what the, who can do this. And so we're going to say manage options. And basically what that is, is it's administrators. I'm not going to go into detail about that. I'm just going to, that manage options is anyone that's an administrator that can manage the options. All right. And so now this next link is going to be the, link of the of the block editor so on my page here i have the block editor open and i went to a reusable block and clicked on you know manage uh, manage blocks and so what we want is we want this edit dot php question mark post type is equal to wp block so we want to copy that and we're going to come over here and we're going to put that right there and then we're going to come down here and we're going to add an action. And what this add action does is it's going to manage the admin menu. Okay. And so then this, that's the first, uh, the first argument there is the admin menu. That's what we're going to, we're managing. And then the second argument is actually going to be our function name. So again, you can name that anything you want as long as you make sure that you put this function here, the name of that function right there. Okay. So then we're going to save this. And with my um, code editor, VS code, I have it set to where it automatically uploads to the website. So we've automatically uploaded that. And if you go down to here to settings, you see in settings, we don't have block editor in here. But now if we refresh this page, now, we have block editor in here and it actually even opened up two 
show that we're on block editor. So now, you know, we can go to the dashboard, we can go back down here to settings and we can go to block editor and it takes us into the block editor. And we only have one here and that's just one I just made just for uh, an example for this video. The other cool thing is, is you can actually click export as JSON. So if you have multiple websites that you're using blocks on, you can export this as a JSON and then import it into a, another site. Um, typically whenever you're creating blocks or when I create blocks, I have unique CSS uh, for that block. So I tag that block with the CSS that I need when we create the block or pattern and then import that uh, to the new site. And then we just need to include that CSS on the site itself. So hope that guys, hope that helps you guys, uh, see that there's, that we can add a link to the block editor. I'm not sure why WordPress hasn't added the, a link to that yet, but hopefully they will soon if, if they're going to at all. All right, guys, hope that helps you guys. Um, it's definitely helped us on all of our sites to add a, link to the block editor because we make multiple blocks or reusable blocks and patterns. Patterns is actually really nice because you can sync the pattern and if you make a change, it makes it across all the patterns. The good thing about it is, is you can turn off sync and you can create a pattern and then change the text or image or whatever it is without updating all the rest of them. So patterns is actually a really, really good thing. See you guys in the next video. Hope this helps. Bye.